Uh, good morning. Uh, my name is Tien Thị Nguyễn. Uh, I am a researcher at uh, Eurocom. Uh, today, on behalf of 5G Core Network Project, I would like to give an update to the status of uh, 5G Core component implementation and the roadmap for the project. Uh, first, I will give a very brief uh, introduction of 5G system architecture and OAI Core Network 5G project. Then I will speak about the current implementation status of 5G components and finally the roadmap. Uh, next, get started with the 5G system architecture as defined by 3GPP. 5G core is based on the service-based architecture to provide flexible and adaptable framework to meet the needs of a variety of applications and services in 5G. Uh, the control plane functions such as IMF, SMF, and AUSF, among the others, will be acted as an HTTP server to provide the services to the other network function. Uh, for example, uh, IMF as an uh, HTTP client, we send a POST method to the SMF to establish a PDU section. Uh, and to have a better view of 5G core components, this slide shows the evolution from the traditional EPC to the control and user plane separation architecture, and then to the 5G. The figure on the right gives an idea of the functionality of 5G core components by showing the mapping between the 4G and 5G components. Uh, in brief, the functionality of IMF is similar to that of the mobility measurement function from the MME. Uh, the functionality of SMF comes from the section management part of MME and the, and the control plane part of SP Gateway. And the functionality of SS is divided into a USF and UDM. Also, several new entities are introduced to support service by architecture, such as NIF and EF for service registration and discovery, and finally, NSSF for network slicing. Next, talk about our core network 5G project. The objective of our project is to provide an open source implementation of 5G core in standalone mode as specified by 3GPP. It's under OEI public license version 1.1 and open for anyone who signs the agreement, the license agreement to contribute. Uh, the main contribution until now come from Aerocom, uh, BPT, and Bcom, among the others. So what the status of OAI Core Network 5G components? Today we have a viable 5G Core Network consisting of three main components, IMF, SMF, and UPF. Our core supports some basic core flow uh, for connection and registration, including uh, UE registration, deregistration, and service requests. And for section management procedure, such as PDU section establishment, modification and release. This means that the UE can be attached to our core network and exchange IP traffic with a data network. And we can see that in the demo section in the next few minutes. The AMF, SMF implementation are now available in our GitLab repositories. The SP Gateway U implementation can be used as a simple UPF for the moment. Also, thanks to our college, uh, Rafan, we now have a CI CD framework in place, which allows validating the contribution from contributor in an automatic manner. We have different scenarios to validate our implementation using a professional tester to not only validate each component, but also the whole system. So it is now time for you to start to use 
and contribute to our 5G core project and to move the project, project forward. And let take a quick look at the IMF and SMF. Uh, regarding the IMF, it supports N1 interface to communicate with the uh, UE, N2 with the GNOME B, and 11 with SMF. We are working on N8 and N12 to prepare for the next step to implement UDM and AUSF and integrate with our AMF. For the function supported by AMF, uh, we can name the N1 and 2 related procedure, NAS ciphering and integrity protection, uh, registration and connection measurement as a few examples. The updated list can be found in the IMF GitLab repository. For SMF, uh, it supports N11, N10, and N4 interfaces. Uh, it's important to note that N11 supports uh, both uh, HTTP version 1.1 and version 2. And we are working on the, uh, the other uh, interfaces to make them uh, support version 2. Also, the list of the SMF conformance, uh, conformance functions according to 3GPP specification can be found on GitLab uh, repository for SMF. Uh, now, let me give uh, an example deployment of our 5G core, including IMF, SMF, and UPF with a simulated GNOME B and UE from the ancestor. The 5G core components can be deployed in a Docker container or in a virtual machine, while GNOME B and UE come from the DS tester. Based on, on a testing scenario defined in a DS tester, we can trigger different core flows. Uh, one typical example is that the UE first uh, register to the network, then establishes a PDU section and exchanges user traffic with the data network. Uh, the UE next release uh, the PDU section and finally the register from the network. Uh, for the moment, we focus only on the functionality of 5G core without any performance evaluation. Uh, this video shows a demo of 5G core. First, we launch IMF, SMF, and UPF. And we can see the PFCP uh, messages exchanged between the SMF and UPF to establish the association between them. Uh, and then we ping the UE address from the data network. Uh, but at the beginning, we, there isn't any echo request and reply messages, and it's a normal. Uh, since we uh, have not start, started GNOME B and UE yet, now we use a simulated GNOME B and UE from the S tester to define the demo scenario and launch the tester. We can clearly see that the UE register to the network and now from the data network screen, the echo request and reply appear. And also on the SMF screen, we can see the information for the UE context and the current PDU section, such as UE IP address, DNN type, DNN name, QFI, among the others. And after the timeout, the UE released the section and it needs the registra registration procedure, and we cannot see any more the traffic. Uh, we can also capture the packet and use Wireshark to analyze the content of the messages exchanged between the components. Uh, for example, NGAP and NAT messages, bit, uh, messages between the GNOME B and IMF, as you can see in this screen. Uh, now for the roadmap. Uh, we divide our project into three different phases over the course of the two years, starting from summer 2020. Uh, for the phase one, the main objective was to have a viable 5G core and a CI CD framework, so we already had today. 
To make it work, the authentication procedures are implemented in AMF instead of in AUSF and UDM. The user subscription information are locally configured in SMF. For the phase two, which we stand now, we continue to support original features to existing component such as IPv6 support, handover procedure. We also implement new entities as a UDM and AUSF for authentication, NIF for service registration and discovery. Then we want to integrate our core with OAI G Node B and test with a real UE. We also work on the performance evaluation, such as the number of supported UE throughput, the network processing delay. And finally, in the phase three, we end up with a full standalone 5G core implementation and a complete deployment framework for a microservices based architecture. We are working hard and we need your contribution to make this roadmap reality. So thank you for the attention and I'm happy to answer the question.